Hey guys, so a question that I get fairly often is what is your favorite subject or what was the hardest physics class that you've ever taken? Therefore I'm making this video to use as a reference and maybe also for myself to look back on in 10 years. If you don't know me then hi, I am Alex. I am a master's student in theoretical physics although I'm about to finish my degree in one or two weeks. So with five years of university studies in my bag, I think that I am more than qualified to talk about this. Now, as a small disclaimer, just keep in mind that these are my personal opinions and you may not agree with what I find difficult or easy. So I'm going to start with the course that was the most difficult for me personally, because I think that's the one that people are usually interested in knowing. And it's not quantum field theory, it's something known as statistical field theory. Now, statistical field theory is intimately related to quantum field theory, but it's mainly associated with what we call low energy physics, such as statistical and condensed matter physics. And SFT kind of deals with the behavior of systems that are allowed to have an infinitely large amount of physical degrees of freedom. Now, the interesting thing about these systems is that they can have a lot of different faces with different characters and their behaviors can be dominated by uh, like redefined geometrical patterns, etc, etc. It does sound rather cool. I think that the main reason why I found this subject to be difficult is because I associated it too much with condensed matter and statistical physics. And I was taking this course at the same time that I took general relativity and quantum field theory, which are highly related to high energy physics, which is what I'm interested in. So for that reason, I would prioritize these other two courses a lot more. Secondly, there is a lot more information to be found online on QFT and on GR. So naturally, I just had a lot more literature that I could read on these two other subjects. Whereas on SFT we only had one book that we could read, which was a very good book, don't get me wrong, but I just automatically put more work into the other two courses. Now, SFT is also a very difficult subject. In my other courses we usually had a lot of exercises, but they were quite short, whereas in SFT we had fewer exercises, but they were very long and they would take days to solve and by the end of it I had like 10 pages of calculations for one exercise. So I think ultimately I just wasn't as interested in this subject as I was in the other two subjects. And the interesting parts of that course only came up towards the end. Now ironically, if I were to tell you about the easiest course that I've ever taken, it has to be a course called Statistical Physics. This was also a master course that I took in Sweden, but it didn't involve any field theory. The calculations in this course was very simple. It was basically only calculus and a bit of algebra. And the professor himself is also one of the reasons why it wasn't so difficult, because the way this course was examinated was that we had like three different hand-ins, and then an oral exam, and as I said, it was very obvious what would be on the exam and what you had to know. Um, and during my oral exam, the professor was very chill, so we were just having a great time. He was asking me questions, and when I wrote down an answer on the on the board, he would just kind of laugh at how ugly my handwriting was. So it was probably the coziest oral exam that I've ever had and I ended up getting the highest grade, even if I didn't feel like I had put in that much work into the course. Now, the last course that I'm going to tell you about is the most enjoyable, or maybe my favorite course, if you will. It's a course that I've done in my master in Utrecht, and it's called Advanced Topics in Theoretical Physics. Now, this course is split into three parts. One is in Utrecht, one is in Amsterdam, and one is in Leiden. And in each part of the course, you get a set of lectures from a researcher on his or her topic of choosing and at the end there is an exam and each year all of the parts have a common theme and when I took the course the theme was emergent field theories and as you hear it was amazing so as the name suggests this course deals with rather advanced uh, topics <laughs> and I think it's mainly meant to be as an inspiration for master and PhD students therefore you can only pass or fail the course which is of course a relief because then you don't have to stress about getting as many points as you can on the exam. 
even though you could only pass or fail, I still felt like I was learning how to do new calculations that I haven't done before and it was something different than all of the other courses that I've taken during my university years. So it really felt like the course was focused on us learning and being inspired by these researchers and not so much on like performing the highest I can on an exam. Okay, so that was all of the courses that I wanted to tell you about for now. Um, this is probably going to be a rather short video, but if you want me to talk more about the courses that I've taken during my university years, please drop a comment. <laughs> probably no one watched this far except for Linda. Hi Linda! Uh, but if you're new and you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing or liking the video. Bye!